We've worked really hard over the last couple of years to focus on not just the food and the healthy options, but how we bring that to the University of Alberta. For instance, we buy a lot of our produce locally when available. If we can do it on site, bring Whole Foods on site, it's better for the environment because we're not using gas to have everything shipped up here. We're not using packaging, uh, buying dry goods all the time. A great example is our urban cultivator that we have behind me. We use, we use that to grow our local herbs and spices. So whenever possible, we buy local. And then we go to the next step past that. So we balance off cost with what makes sense. Sustainability is getting easier. Packaging is getting easier because we can find suppliers out there. Three, four years ago, it was hard to find anybody to get us a proper package for our express items. All of our express products that you see around campus are recyclable, biodegradable. Our forks or knives or spoons that we use, the, the takeouts are also uh, biodegradable. We went from something as simple as styrofoam to non-styrofoam. It cost more to buy those post-recycled cups at first, but as you start to integrate into your systems, we find other efficiencies to make that up because it's the right thing to do. We've upgraded our dish pit to a high efficiency dish pit. We've switched over all of our uh, serveware from glass to bamboo, so we use a bamboo product now that's unbreakable. It's a lighter weight product, so it runs through our systems better, and, and it costs us half the price to bring in than a glass plate. So if we can save on those sides of things, it helps us with our programs in the back. A big part of what we've done over the last couple of years is waste management. As you know, when we do food, there's, there's preparation that happens. So we've launched this year what's called uh, Waste Management 101. And what we do with that is every chef station actually has a weight scale and a bucket for waste. So every day we take a look at the end of the day how much waste they have in pounds so we can actually track every day based on how many units we sell, how many pounds of waste we have. So we can analyze, did we produce that properly? We can go back and look at how much waste we have every day and are we tracking to be better or worse? And from a sustainability point of view, that really makes sense. We recycle everything. We are a, a trashless kitchen. So we have one or two small little trash cans that we have for things that you can't recycle, but we have somebody on site that splits everything out so we can send them to the university recycle center and have them uh, either compost this or recycled the way they're supposed to be. Overall, the students are loving it, but it's Airmark and the University of Alberta and student groups. What's right for them? Because what might be right for the university or Airmark might not always be right for the students and what they're looking for. So it's always a balancing act of finding what works for the, the, the greater good of the university. And it's not just about the food here, it's about bringing the pillars of sustainability. How can we give back to the environment? Sustainability isn't something that that is a rite of passage. It's something that should be part of your business anyways. We all know that.